Her name has been shining down on Broadway for over 50 years. You work and you're fortunate enough to do the things that you really want to do. In my case, it was to start out as, out as a dancer. I got those wonderful shows and they've helped to make me who and whatever I am today. And today, Chita Rivera is regarded as an American national treasure. Born in Washington, D.C. during the Great Depression, Dolores Conchita Figueroa del Rivero grew up surrounded by music. But it was her restless energy that motivated Chita's mother to send her to ballet school. I broke up everything in the house. My mother had to put me in a ballet school. I was a tomboy. I used to play with the boys and climb the trees and ride bicycles with no hands. At 15, she was awarded a scholarship to join the prestigious School of American Ballet in Manhattan. Two years later, she landed her first role on Broadway in Call Me Madam. That was the beginning of a successful career of hits such as Bye Bye Birdie, Chicago, and Kiss of the Spider Woman, among many others. All your roles, which had the most impact in you in your life? Which one do you actually feel more connection with? I've never found an answer to that. I am extremely grateful for those characters. I'm very, very happy with with Anita and Rosie and, the, and Aurora. You find yourself as you play these other people too, I think. You find something about yourself that maybe you didn't know. But it was her electrifying role as Anita, a Puerto Rican girl in the 1957 West Side Story that sealed her fame as one of Broadway's most accomplished artists. It was a story of Romeo and Juliet, really, but it brought together the Puerto Rican culture and the other cultures of, uh, of, uh, of America and trying to understand the differences and accept the differences and learn from the differences. How do you think uh, uh, America uh, uh, as, as a whole really is changing in the way that we, um, you know, perceive uh, racial differences? And that's what the United States is all about. Um, and it's about time people know there's a difference between Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Argentinian. Uh, I mean, and to get to know other people's culture is what we, it makes us all a much better uh, human being. West Side Story would forever change her personal life. Chita married fellow cast member and Jet, Tony Mordente. Jerome Robbins, the genius choreographer director, said um, we were not allowed in rehearsals to speak to the Jets. The Sharks were not allowed to speak to the Jets. So we didn't, except I had to go one step further and I had to marry one. <laughs> so my daughter, Lisa, says that she's half Puerto Rican and, and half, she's half Shark and half Jet. Lisa, their daughter, followed her parents' footsteps onto the stage. She is now a dancer and a choreographer. Chita and Tony divorced in 1966. Was this the love of your life? And how do you see... <laughs> <laughs> Was he the love of your life? Oh, yeah. At the time, absolutely. Oh, totally. Screaming out of windows, I love Tony, I love Chita. Oh, <laughs> passion. And uh, we made a beautiful daughter. Sassy and energetic, Cheetah's performances have won much recognition. She has received two Tony Awards. She was the first Latina to be given a Kennedy Center honor, and she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Obama in 2009. As one of America's great artists. You sit there in the White House and you're saying, what am I doing here? You figure out you know, why, why this particular award? And when I did think about it, I thought, well, okay, I, I have had a, a very fortunate career and I have desperately tried to be an example. Anytime Broadway Cares has a party, I'm there. Since 1988, Cheetah has participated in fundraising benefits for Broadway Cares, a nonprofit that awards grants to AIDS service organizations. We did the, I did the very first benefit for AIDS, and um, it was pretty extraordinary. And so it's, I've been devoted to it ever since. With her extraordinary talent, she has opened doors to other Hispanic artists on Broadway and in Hollywood. Most recently in 2006, Chita appeared in a retrospective of her life in the theater, Chita Rivera, The Dancer's Life. 
and realized a lifelong dream with her new album, And Now I Swing. I always said, wow, oh, I'd like to reach the stage where I won't have to do those legs up in the air and do flying splits. I could just stand at a microphone like a woman and just sing a song and interpret it. Tita Rivera has no intention of slowing down. We have no idea how much we can do. I don't care what age you are, you can still learn, you can still get stronger. If, you can't, if the body's falling apart, maybe the mind will come through. You hope for something, but you just stay in the game, that's all.